Secretary Blinken spoke at Stanford University in a conversation with former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. His message to students and faculty? Technology plays a critical role in geopolitical challenges around the world. We're in a moment of intense competition to shape what comes next. Technology, innovation, entrepreneurship, they're at the heart of that. Uh, this is how uh, we are going to retool economies for the future. This is how we're going to modernize militaries as necessary. Blinken's trip comes as the Biden administration is starting to implement the CHIPS and Science Act, billions of dollars slated to boost domestic semiconductor research and manufacturing. Earlier this month, the administration issued export controls, preventing some semiconductor suppliers from selling to China to hamper that country's ability to develop chips and use them in its military. There's only a small number of countries that either are manufacturing the highest end semiconductors or making the tools to manufacture the highest end semiconductors. We want to make sure that we uh, keep those where they need to be. Industry analysts say the new restrictions will hurt some U.S. technology firms' bottom line. Stanford law professor Nate Persley says Blinken's Silicon Valley trip underscores the importance of the technology industry when it comes to geopolitical challenges. While we tend to think of the companies here as just producing some kind of product, uh, actually that product, uh, whether it's semiconductors or other aspects of the technological infrastructure, has worldwide implications for issues of peace and war, issues for international relations. And so, uh, you know, the Secretary of State and, and others in the government recognize that they uh, sort of have to have special policies for these kinds of industries. In his pitch that Washington and Silicon Valley need to be better aligned, Blinken pointed to a first this year the State Department's Bureau of Cyberspace and Digital Policy, which will provide what he calls day-in, day-out connectivity with the Silicon Valley ecosystem. Michelle Quinn, VOA News.